So this here is a uh, white oak, probably northern white oak. Um, Corpse Alba. Um, this one's pretty old. I'm not great at estimating tree ages, but I'd imagine if you took like a core sample, it's got to be at least a hundred years old, maybe you know, 150. I don't know, but pretty old, um, pretty big. Um, a little bit closer look. I've actually not really come up to this tree. Um, I think that, I don't know if that's poison ivy, so maybe I won't touch it, but you can see the bark um, on big red oaks, big black oaks. It's definitely, it's got a lot more furrows in it, but this you can see is more like flaky, um, and that's kind of a hallmark of white oaks compared to those. Also, you can't really see any leaves right now, but their leaves, the lobes of their leaves are rounded rather than pointed. Um, but this thing, I don't know, just has a lot of character. Branches are kind of gnarled and old. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's been through a bit. Either these branches might have fallen off in a storm. Um, this one looks like it might have been sawed off. Maybe it was encroaching on the path. But yeah, when I first saw this tree, I think it was last winter, I thought it was dead. But, or I didn't know if it was dead. But yeah, it grew leaves. It has leaves still. Um, so. Yeah, it's a great find this uh, brook here called Brook. Um, you can see the back side is actually a lot more furrowed, which is interesting. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I never have seen the back side of this tree. So, yeah, it's interesting because you can have different, like, bark features, I guess, on different sides of the tree, depending on conditions, I guess. But, yeah, so this stuff is very much more... I don't even know. It's almost like... I don't know what type of tree, but... Almost like ash with like the diamond, diamondish pattern, but yeah, so you got a nice little brook running through here. Um, this ravine area, I saw like a plaque, it's like preserved by somebody who helped it be preserved. So, probably, um, yeah, but so this tree might be older than the university here because I think the university came here in the late 1890s, so yeah, this thing's probably over 125 years old, so. This tree might have been a little seedling back when uh, the University of New Hampshire got its start here, who knows. Um, yeah, it's a cool tree though. I walk by it a lot when I'm going to get a meal and stuff, so. Um, yeah, Northern White Oak. Very beautiful tree. Um, hopefully it'll be here for years to come, it'll be interesting. You know, whether it's going to fall over, they might have to cut it if it's a danger, but for now it is a big old tree. Hanging out by the brook, and uh, yeah, I like seeing it every time I walk by. I always look for it. <laughs> so, cool, cool tree.